Hard traders intraday. We have had the sell off that we expected to see, the gap and run that occurred. I'm looking at the SP E mini futures contract on the five minute. I'm going to roll out to the hourly. As you guys can see here, um, we gapped significantly lower. Uh, you know, right about here, I think, was where we opened. I'll fatten it up a little bit. Right about here was where we opened. We got a little stutter step, and then the market took a nosedive. Now we're back down in, look left, back down into a little area of support here. And the market has come right down into that, as, I ex as, as expected, and is now trying to decide what it wants to do. It's rallied a little bit off of that. I go back out to the five-minute chart, and you can see we've had a rally. We've entered, entered into that you know, kind of support area, and we've rallied out of it. If we come back down into it, 13.15s, 13.14s area, um, and the market holds there, basically if we hold above 13.12, it's going to present a buying opportunity. So I'm going to be watching this. And we'll see if we can't maybe see a you know a little bit of a buy out of this particular uh, out of this particular move. And all right, traders, I know we uh, we were watching for this market to come back down in here and retest uh, these lows potentially give us a long opportunity here if the market finds a bottom. Well, we found kind of a little top here. And so the market has come in and tested that, and we broke away. We've come back in, tested again, and now, you know, confirmed a, a, a lower close here below the the highs. And so I'm I'm looking to I'm short now, uh, looking for basically a couple of points out of this as we press back down into these lows. You know, what we should see with all with this heavy selling pressure is we should see the market come back down in and at least at least test this level again to make sure that that's decent support. Uh, and if it doesn't, then we're going to come off, and, and if we do press into lower, well, then, a hey, bonus, we're, we're short, and we're with the trend. If we do find that low in there, well, then the pretty good chance we're taken out on our protective stops, um, and then we'll be able to look for a long opportunity like we had talked about earlier. So we'll go ahead and just sit here and, and kind of watch this thing and and see uh, see if we don't move in the direction. we got to get below these these lows here at uh, 13, at 17 quarter. If we can get below 17 quarter, then pretty good chance that we're going to retest here. But uh, market finding that support at 17 quarter, uh, up about a point now, and so we'll have to uh, we'll have to wait and see. So sit tight, and I'll be back uh, when we when we do something. And now traders breaking under those lows. Stops are now going to go to break even. 18. Actually, we need to go 18 quarter. Um, and guys, this is this is how we protect. This is how we protect ourselves in the event that this thing uh, immediately flips around and goes against us. But we, you know, we've kind of we've broken that structure there. The downside, the market indicating it wants to go lower, and uh, you know, a couple of hundred dollars in profit right now. So we're gonna we're gonna make sure that this is uh, that this is a winning trade no matter what. Now you say, well, we're a, you're a break even. You're a quarter point below your entries. You're basically a break even, Jason. That's not a win. Well. It is in my book. In my book, if I get out of a trade for break even, that's a win because I didn't lose any money. <laughs> but uh, you know, right now, uh, you know, I've taken some, uh, you know, I've taken about five or six hundred dollars uh, of losses today in the in the currency markets on some position trades that I had out. And if this goes well, you know, I'll recoup, uh, you know, three or four hundred of that. Actually, I'll probably be pretty close to break even by the time we're all said and done. And here we are coming down uh, 1615. We're about a point away from uh, you know from hitting our target and up you know currently uh, you know about 250 300 dollars, 200 dollars, two and a quarter. So uh, anyway, I'll just uh, yeah I, I just kind of want to let this run in case we do do go ahead and blow down in there. I may cut some of this out. So if you if I cut this later, then you'll know you'll know why it happened. There's the close. We did close below. So you guys can see now that market has given its intention to go lower. We may come up and retest this level right here. We may come up and retest this, but if the market uh, if the market structure holds true, we shouldn't get back above this. So our stops are in a good position here because if given the market structure, we do rally back up here. We shouldn't come back above that support level because that that support level was holding things for quite a little bit here. Uh, and now we've broken back below, so we'll have to wait and see if we can continue back down in, get those 13, 15, uh, those 15 and a half for target one, 
and uh, you know then we'll uh, we'll see if we can't protect our profits even further if possible. But uh, and again, as you guys will see, I'm not you know I'm not getting greedy with it. If you look at where my targets are, let me just go ahead and draw this out. Let me put uh, extend order lines. There we go. As you can see, guys, I'm not getting greedy with it. I'm not trying to buy them back up all the way at the lows at 1314. You know, I'm, I'm coming off uh, 1315 half. I'm coming off into the congestion area. Now, as you can see here, this little zone down here is where I was looking to buy them up. So I want to be at least off with the first half of my position as we come down into that potential, uh, that potential area to get long. And so that's, that's kind of the, the thought process here. All right, here's coming back into the uh, the candle just closed here, and we did close below the support level here, and we'll have to wait and see whether or not this market will press down lower. And this is a patience game, guys. This is a waiting game that we play, and all we want to do is just be patient, watch the market. We don't get stressed out. We don't look at it and say, "Oh, I'm up two hundred dollars. I, I want to keep that. I want to bank that profit. I want to keep that money. That money's mine. It's already in the bank. I'm already thinking about, you know, the bills I can pay off with that money." You can't think like that. You have got to think like a trader. You've got to be disciplined with your position because when we took this position out, we had about two points of risk. So if we're going to, in order, in order for us to keep our risk reward profile steady, we need to make sure that we are, uh, you know, that we're protecting that and that we're getting out of the market what we expected. And so the market still in this position, even if we look right now, is exactly where we want it to be. It's below the support level. It's broken the structure. We've got held trades below now. We've got five minutes of holding the trade below. So it didn't go it didn't go all the way down and then get sucked all the way back up again. We've had a consolidation that's existed here. And we fully expect to see a rollover. So we'll I mean again, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video and we'll come back as if it looks like we're gonna hit this target and uh, we'll go from there. And all right. Came right up in, tested the structure, guys. I mean, pay attention to the structure. Structure leaves clues. I say that over and over and over again. Structure leaves clues. Market breaks the structure to the downside. Boom, we spend 5, 10, 15 minutes trading sideways. Come right back up, test that structure level. Now we're starting to pull back a little bit. We got lower high, we got uh, higher low, higher low. Now we've got a lower high. Intra candle. These things, for those of you who are, who, who are, students of technical analysis of structure analysis and you recognize new structure high you know higher low lower high that we see that the these cycles that happen in the market what you see in front of you right now is an example of that very intraday where the market comes up intraday and, and or intra candle so to speak higher high I get a higher high from this high, higher high from this high. You get a higher low here from here, a higher low here, boom. Then what happens on this candle? Well, this is still a working candle, so we're not quite sure yet, but we know one thing's for certain, there is a lower low. And as of right now, there is a lower high, which would indicate that there is an intention here for the market to go lower, and it's exactly what you're seeing now. Now we're retesting. Now we're retesting 13, I'm sorry, 16 quarter. Once we get under this, the next stop should be our target. So we're just going to be patient. Again, be patient, patient, patient as the market moves. Wait for the market to come to you. It's no fun to sit here. Well, how long have we been sitting here? We watch this candle, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes, now we've broken structure, now we've got a lower low from the previous lows. But an entire half hour of trading has elapsed right here, where I have done nothing but just sit and watch the market. And that's what you have to do, traders, when, you, when the opportunities present themselves. Now we got a lower low here. This is what's important to recognize. Lower low, because the market put in this lower low here. But we did not get a lower close because the previous close was back here 
Now we're very, very close to hitting our targets here. We have come within half a tick. So anytime we come within half a tick, I want to go ahead and protect my stop. I'm going to roll up. I'm going to protect. I'm going to take one point above my targets. 15 uh, half will be 16 half. And now I'm going to protect myself. Because I've come within one tick of my target of 15 quarter, which is basically two ticks because I've, I've really got to come through there. So, I've, But I've come within one tick of where my targets are laid out. And I don't want to lose any money on this trade. So, I, And again, we, we're going to lose any money, but I want to make sure that I don't want the market to come down within a tick of hitting my target and then, stop, and then end up rolling all the way back up for break even. So when I come in and I almost touch like I'm doing right now, almost hitting my target but not quite hitting it, I want to make sure that I'm taking my profits off. Now, if I end up hitting my target, I'm going to move my stop back up. Where am I going to move it? Right above the previous cycle top. So if I hit my initial target, I'm going to move my stop back up. But if this market turns, chooses to come in within a point, uh, you know, a, a tick of hitting my, uh, you know, my 1550 target, I'm going to roll my stops down and I'm going to protect my profit and grab oh about a, about $200 out of this market. 175, 200. So I've guaranteed myself 175 dollars here, and this is, you know, we're in a we're in a tight range here. I want the market. I want the market to hit my target. I do not want this market to pull back. If we pull back even a little bit, I'm just going to go ahead and get out, and I'm going to wait for another entry. This time, probably to the long side. If we come back down into this area of congestion that we've been talking about during this entire video. Hey guys, these are just concepts. I don't mean to turn away from the camera here. I'm not used to having the camera. But these are concepts, guys, that um, any trader can use. And it, there's a standard rule in place. I didn't roll my stop for no reason. What were my rules for rolling my stop? If I come within one tick, 15 three quarter, I'm going to roll my stop to break even. Or I'm going to roll my stop to uh, one point, within one point. What does that do? What that does is secures me profit. But I'm not willy-nilly about it. I'm not, oh, I think I'm really nervous. I'm really scared that I'm not going to hit my target, so I'm going to roll my stops. Or I'm just going to take it off early. No, no. I'm going to let the market come to me. But if the market chooses to do a 180 here and reverse back to the upside, well, then I'm going to get out of that market. I'm going to take my, you know, $175, $200, and I'm going to go home. If we come down and hit the target, well, then I'm in a good position now to continue the move to the downside and hopefully see some new structure lows here. So we'll go ahead and watch this market as it moves and uh, and see if we can't get down there. And as you can see, guys, just sitting here just playing between 13.16 uh, and 15.3 quarter. And again, if I cut some of this out, don't worry about it. I'm, I'm, I'll just cut so we don't have to watch, sit here and watch the market tick. But it's almost good from an emotional standpoint that you get to feel what it feels like to watch this thing up and down. And for those of you who are watching the video, are just like, this is freaking boring. Well, guess what, guys? Trading is boring. When it's done correctly, trading is boring. Hey, to me, there's nothing boring about making money. So I will sit here all day and watch this market trade sideways, especially when I'm into the money especially when I'm staring at a couple of hundred dollars in guaranteed profit because I've been patient and because I've been disciplined and because I wasn't in the market to get a rush or get some of emotional high. There's, there's nothing exciting to me about losing my money. Um, as a matter of fact, I did a video this morning for some, some guys who, were, uh, who follow what I do, and, and I was not happy about the way the currency markets had been acting. But, you know, you take your licks. You, I mean, sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. And uh, in this case, I continued to trade my plan. I continued to get into the market, and now staring at uh, you know recouping a, a large chunk of the profit. Now there we go. Now we spiked down into fifteen three quarter, or fifteen uh, fifteen half, but we didn't get filled there. We got to get under that. So we will have to wait and see if this market's got any extra stomach. But again, patience, patience, patience. Get there, get there, get there. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Now, if you want to, you can simply buy these up right here. I'm not going to mess with doing that, but you can open up your platform here, and you can, uh, you know, you can say, "Ah, oh, I'm just going to, I'm just going to go ahead and buy. I'm just going to cover half my position." 
I'm going to go ahead and wait and see if this thing gets filled. There we go. Now we're filled. So what do we want to do? We want to move our stops back above the highs here. Now the high of this market was actually 17 quarter. So I want to get uh, 1800 on this from a stop. And I want to adjust my stop because now I'm only short one contract. So now I'm short one contract. I've come off. I've made $150. I have $150 of open position profit left, and I have my stops above the previous cycle top. And now we see the market pressing down lower. Now I have to start looking at where do my next targets want to go. And again, we want to see we've got the lows coming in here. So we can trail these aggressively, or we can be more conservative. My, I would prefer to be taken out on trail stops here. I would prefer that the market prove to me that it has an intention to go higher by taking me out on trail stops. And the best way I can do that is to leave my stops open here, um, leave my stops above the previous cycle top. And when the market says no more, then I can look at getting uh, getting in. But see, we're we're printing new structure lows. The market is we're we're uh, the market is continuing to go lower. So we're going to go ahead and hold this position and see what happens.